So Vince, when do you buy a stock? How do you know when is the best time to buy or sell? Like, how do you know when the stock is about to go down or when the price is gonna be going up? Well, make sure you stick around. I'm about to show you a very helpful tool that's gonna help you with that. Stick around for this free game right after this. Let's go. Good family is coach vince former athlete turned money coach and the creator of the money mindset league which is a community of former athletes just like myself and other like-minded people who all want to become smarter financially build five figure savings and invest to build wealth we don't think like the majority we follow the money and we think like millionaires tap in with me if you want to get my free financial training camp course that's in the link in the description and if you want to join me get weekly coaching access to my stock portfolio, the things that I buy and sell, any options trades that I make. Make sure you join my coaching program. That's also in the link in the description. So let's talk about this, this tool, this, this free tool that you can get that's going to help you develop and understand when to buy or when to sell a stock, help you understand when the price may be going up or when the price may be going down. And that tool is called the RSI, also known as the Relative Strength index it's a momentum oscillator that's going to show you what i just told you about the price when it's going up when it's going down all right so what is it it's just a technical analysis tool that helps you determine whether a security or a stock is overbought or oversold okay overbought meaning that there's a bunch of buyers in the market there's a bunch of buyers that's that's in that particular stock and that's driving the prices upward oversold meaning that there's a bunch of sellers there's people that's selling the stock that's shorting the stock and it's driving the price down so how does the rsi work well when wells wilder first created it it was based on a measurement from zero to 100 yes zero to 100 real quick with a level of 70 or above meaning that a certain stock is overbought and a level of 30 or below meaning that a certain stock is oversold okay Overbought again, meaning there's a bunch of buyers. Oversold, meaning there's a bunch of sellers that's driving the price down. Whenever you see the RSI go to a level of 70 or above, that usually is good indication. Okay, this is an indicator. That's usually good indication that it's time to sell something. It's overbought, meaning that the price is gonna tank. The price is gonna go down uh, in the near future because it's overbought right now. And eventually people are gonna start selling it. That's when it's time to sell or take your profits. Now, when the RSI is showing at a level that's 30 or below, this is the time to buy because there's a lot of sellers right now. The price is very cheap. So that means they're gonna be an influx of more and more buyers because the price of a certain stock is a little lower. When the price is low, you buy, okay? When it's low, you buy. When it's high, you sell, okay? So that's basically the whole approach to the RSI and how the RSI works. But when it comes to, you know, the market trends and what's happening in the markets, I think it's best that we adjust some of these parameters, okay? So originally it was created based on the 70 being overbought, 70 and plus being overbought and 30 and below being oversold. But we have to take in consideration whether it's a, a bull market, meaning that we have, we have a very bullish sentiment by investors. We're expecting prices to keep going up, okay? There's a lot of buyers in the market. Or it's a bear market, meaning that we're expecting prices to go go low. Investor sentiment is, is basically to sell. They're not very optimistic in the market. And we're expecting prices to go down, okay? So when that happens, I think we need to adjust this RSI to fit that. So with that being said, when there's a bear market, kind of like where we're in right now, when there's a bear market, we need to adjust the the overbought level somewhere closely more to like 80 or 90. And I'm gonna show you an example in a little bit. And when and when it's time to sell or when it's oversold in a bear in a in a bull market, the parameters are more like 40 to 50. Okay, because when you're in a bull market, there's a lot of optimism. It's gonna take a lot to drive things down. And if it's driving down you know, uh, less than 40 or something like that, then that's a good indication that it's time to buy back in because then it's below 40. It's in between that 40 to 50 range, meaning that it's oversold and that means it's time to buy. 
okay so we have to adjust it in that way now when it's a bear market we also have to adjust it so the overbought range would be more like the 50 to 60 range because we're in a bear market we have to remember we're in a bear market we're we're not very optimistic we're expecting prices to go down we're expecting a recession or something to happen that's going to drive the markets down so the overbought range will be anywhere between 50 to like 65 60 65 okay and then the the oversold range will be anywhere between 20 to 30. we have to make those adjustments and i think by making those adjustments that'll help you out when it comes to figuring out when to buy or when to sell a stock okay so let's get into an example i might just show you these numbers like this is not nothing made up this is something that is actually relative to to real life this is this is reality so let's take an example let's look at an example you already know I might have pulled out the phone and um show y'all and record my screen the tool that i'm gonna be using is called trading view if you don't know what it is just go to trainingview tradingview.com and um create an account it's free to use you don't have to pay for it okay you can set up and get the rsi and all that stuff all that good stuff so the example that we're going to look at is tesla all right what a perfect example right a perfect example so if we look here we're looking at the rsi at the top at the top is the chart okay it shows you the, the prices the prices go up and down this is a daily chart i'm using a um a five day uh daily chart okay five day daily chart I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so that we can get a better view okay it's a five day daily chart i'm looking at it so at the top is the chart at the bottom is the rsi at the bottom is the rsi all right so if we scroll over this rsi tesla just recently had a little dip Tesla just recently had a little dip. And if we look at this, okay, since January 6th, from like January 4th to January 6th, it's been over that over that 70 mark. Remember, originally, and they're, they're marked at a 70 and 30. 70 being overbought, 30 being oversold. So originally, it's at the 70. But you have to remember, we're in a bear, we're in a bull market. So we have to change that from 70, we have to take it to 80 to that 90 range. So if we look here, if we look here, once we hit January 7th, all right, it goes to 80, okay? Then we hit January 8th and it goes to 83. Then it starts coming down a little bit. That Monday, January 11th, it started coming down. So remember that 80 to 90 range is when it started coming down. All right, remember we're in a bull, we're in a bull, market so that's why we have to change change it a little bit so right now it's at 70 so you can still be bullish on this because it's right now it's at 70 and we're in a bull market that new range now becomes 80 to 90 okay so let's go back let's see if we can find a time back in history when um it was uh, it was uh oversold it's gonna be way back let's see if we can find something from way back all right boom here we go this was back in March, okay? When everything happened, when the whole pandemic happened, okay? March, 2020, it was undersold. It was at 34. <clears throat> Still not undersold enough, okay? Still not undersold enough. We had 27, we had 27, we had 24. Remember, we gotta be in that 20 to 30 range for the, for because remember, we're in a bear market. Things have started to go back up around this time. Okay, investor sentiment has started to increase. A lot of people was getting on Robin Hood and everything. So investor sentiment had uh has started to increase at this point. We're at the we're in between that 20 to 30 range in the bull market, in a bull market. And that's when it's a good indication that it's time to start buying. So what happened? Soon as it soon as it dipped into that between that 20 to 30 range, then boom, people started buying and it started going back up and it hasn't gone back down since. Right, if you look at it, boom, 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 then kind of stagnant, 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 staying below that 70, staying below that 70, people was buying in, buying in, buying in, and then boom, it finally hit, it went over a little bit, came back down, went over, went over. As soon as it hits that 80 mark, it starts going back down. And that's how the RSI works, just to keep it real simple with y'all. Okay, so look, that's an indicator that you can use that will help you identify when it's a good time to buy or when it's a good time to sell, okay? Be patient in the market. Patience will pay you. 
I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to help y'all out a little bit. Patience will pay you. If you're a long-term investor or a short or a short-term investor, patience will pay you. So that's it for this video. I thank you for, for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you liked, if you like my explanation, if you liked how I broke that down. Make sure that you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I would love to have you be a part of this community. I go live, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Instagram. Make sure you follow me there as well. You can get all that in the link in the description. Don't forget about Financial Training Camp. That's in the description. Set yourself up and position yourself to start investing and start investing with confidence. You have to have the foundation first and that's what Financial Training Camp is all about. And if you need extra help, you need a, a helping hand, join my coaching program. I'm giving my time, I'm showing you my stock portfolio and I'm giving you every resource that I have available to help teach you about money and investing. So tap into that. Till next time, y'all already know, man. Believe in yourself, invest in yourself and most importantly, most importantly, let yourself. Peace.